Chrissy, it's Wake Up Wednesday. It's also Wine Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Adoptable Wednesday dogs. Heather Lake is hanging out with, this is the best, so a female coffee roaster <laughs> up in the North County. I'm ready. We need the samples. We need, a, we need the delivery. Let's do it. <sighs> Oh. Cheers. Well, we're roasting. We're roasting. And I'll talk to you all about where their shop is over in Sabre Springs. Wednesdays are funny, right? Well, we're like, all right, how many things do we need to brand to get us through this work week? <laughs> Wake up Wednesday, <laughs> do the wine Wednesday. We'll do it all, okay? <laughs> Whatever gets us through. We got this. You got this, too. Grab a cup of coffee with me. Cheers. Let's do this. If you haven't heard of Leap Coffee, we are going to introduce you to the beautiful brains behind this operation. So cool. Okay, so we've got Brandy, we've got Bree. This is awesome because you do the roasting, you're the owner, and you guys met at church, which is really cool because you were running this cafe, and now you guys are roasting all here in Escondido. Um, what, I mean, obviously, we love caffeine and coffee, but what gives you kind of that love behind doing this and keeping this business going? It was really tough for about two years. Yes, sense of community. It brings people together, yeah. makes them feel good. You come in, that smell, the food, the pastries, the community. Yeah. It's wonderful. It just makes you happy. And you met Brie at the local cafe, and it's all coming together. So talk to me about learning roasting, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Roasting is definitely, it's such a fun art and science at the same time. And I started in coffee as a barista, but I was looking for more opportunities to kind of challenge myself and grow. And roasting at Leap has just kind of been that open door. Um, and it definitely is a challenge every single day, but it's also really exciting, yeah. which I think makes it worthwhile. Um, I, I think people don't realize it's almost like being a chef. You really have to put yourself out there because a lot of people can make good coffee and a lot of people can make pretty bad coffee and it's going to go on the shelves regardless and the people get to make the decision. So talk about what you're doing here. So we have a couple of little taste tests. Yes. Yeah. This process is called cupping. Um, it's a method of tasting coffee, a standardized way of doing it so that every time I do the exact same thing, if I were to do this with someone else from another country who doesn't speak my language, we could do the exact same thing and know how to do it together. Um, we let each of these cups brew for four minutes um, with the grounds and the water together. Then we take a spoon and we get down really close to the top and break the crust. Inhale those fresh brewed coffee scents as we're going along. Wow. After we let them brew for a few more minutes and cool down, then you do what your mom told you not to do at the dinner table and you slurp. Uh, with your spoon, you yeah, like slurp it? Okay. Super, super aggressively. Uh, but this helps. is like really hot water, right? Yes, so yeah, it's very Wait hot. a minute, okay. We, we usually wait about 11 to 12 minutes before we get your timing. Things. Yes, okay. yeah, Got it's it. very, very like every So this has pea berry. Yeah. Can you explain what a pea berry is? I think this is really interesting for yeah. people who need a little coffee knowledge. Okay. Absolutely, yeah, um, a pea berry is a type of bean, oh, generally so coffee, cherries, um, which are the fruit of the coffee plant, have two seeds in them that are kind of sandwiched together, so mm -hmm. one side's flat. Um, pea berry is a mutation that causes just one round small bean to be formed. So they used to be sorted out as defects, but now they're considered highly desirable for cool, unique flavor, which is super fun, makes it really interesting for people that want to try something yeah. different. All of the, the flavors are so different. One thing that people don't know is that coffee brings the world together. So you literally, as I'm walking around here, you guys, there is coffee from all different farmers all over the world, and she's tasting them, she's trying them, and roasting them so that you can get them here in San Diego. It's just so cool. I love all of this. And um, it's Women's Month, so we're celebrating you. We're celebrating you ladies. This is a, a female-driven business. and. Um, I like caffeine. So on the, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> on that note, which uh, I got a little trivia for you. Are you ready? Which, um, trivia? Ca okay. which roast yeah. of coffee do you think which roast has the most like caffeine? Light roast I am go I'm gonna or go. dark roast? I'm going to go. Oh, I was going to say medium roast. Is that not an option? I hear like people in the background screaming. What is oh, going on? Russo back in there? her cubby hole. <laughs> I'm a, if medium is, is not Chrissy? an option, oh. I'm going to go with light. <laughs> Because medium would be my normal answer. Okay, yes, and it's not very much, right? Okay, yeah. Bree's gonna answer for us. Yeah, it's 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 not really a negligible, or it, it's a little bit of a negligible difference. It's not significant. Okay. Um, caffeine's a pretty stable molecule that doesn't change a lot during the roasting process. But lighter roasted coffee, I think, definitely from experience, I know has more caffeine. Awesome. I 
working here versus <laughs> when I worked at Starbucks, <laughs> I can't drink nearly as much coffee. It's like ah, one cup and then I'm done for the day or else I'm on awesome. the floor. So then, so then I'll just drink more dark roast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can do that. I'll make that excuse uh, for myself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Chrissy wants to know if we can door dash. And if it's Savior Springs, hey, that's around the corner from me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to stop by. When do they open up? Like at four? Um, you okay. might be able to. So we're at their roasting. We're at their roasting center in uh, Escondido, and Saber Springs is where their cafe is, which is Perfect. really cool. What time do you guys open at Saber Springs? Seven a.m. Seven a.m. Thank goodness, finally. Oh, There's so many coffee shops that open at eight a.m. in San Diego. 8 a.m. And I'm like, what? Who drinks coffee tell, at 8 a.m.? Yeah. Tell, tell, oh tell them I'm not too so far hard. away, but I need them to open at 4 in the morning so I can swing by for my coffee before I come into work. <laughs> Raul we'll needs you to start at 4, okay? <laughs> I'm not uh, even awake at 4. There you go. So. Uh, okay, well, braggart. Uh, I, we'll work I love on it. that. I mean, the coffee <laughs> smells great even from here. Heather, thank you, ladies. Thank you as well.